Hey folks, this is John again from the Acoustic Shop and we're here at the NAM 2017. Uh, we're at the McPherson booth right now talking about these incredible guitars um, and I'm with Juan John. I mean, John, Juan John, we're, we're, we're happening right now. Dream we're, team. That's right, we're all about <laughs> it. So we're gonna talk about uh, McPherson guitars now. They're not no longer called Kevin Michael guitars. They're now yes. truly a McPherson guitar. They are, and they, they've always been. So if you've got one of the um, older generations, hold on to it because they're not making those anymore, so definitely hold on to it. Um, the guitars are, um, a, let's start out from the basic. Um, they, they've got the, base, the, the standard McPherson design, the cantilever neck, the offset sound hole that helps with the um, resonance and the overtones on the top of the guitar. Um, so you get, you've got that. Um, they are made by hand. I got a chance to tour the factory recently. They are handmade. Um, and it's, it, it's funny when people go, well, they're carbon fiber, and they, they really truly are handmade. Um, they've got the guys, the same guys that build the, um, the wood McPherson's are building these. And so the necks, the, ba the back and the heels of the necks are sanded by hand to get a soft V shape. Um, the frets all by hand, fretboard by hand, and it's it, amazing. So, in the, and really I think what sets this guitar apart from anything else on the carbon market is um, the, uh, the style of carbon fiber. It's actually a military grade carbon fiber that's used a, a 57 million modulus, which is incredibly strong. To give you an idea. Everybody knows what a modulus is, right? right? I mean. Right. Well, to give you an idea, like a standard, anything on the market would be a 28 million. And Matt McPherson was like, that's not good enough. Let's make this thing bulletproof. So he went to 57 million modulus. And so they're super impressive guitars. And what's so awesome about this and what I like a lot is it is, like you said, a, it's a McPherson guitar. These are McPherson designs. This is how they do. All those features that have always been kind of characterized with McPherson guitars are showing up in a carbon fiber guitar. And now we've got that indestructible, you know, mm -hmm. ability of that. So, yeah. you know, benefits of that. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, as an artist with McPherson, I tour with um, the Sable and the touring model. And... Uh, I also have a Camriel. I have a wooden Camriel at home, and I use that for radio, TV, things of that nature. And so, as I'm on these rough tours, really rough tours, recently, this was fun, I ended up um, throwing these in the back of my trunk at 117 degrees in Arizona, and I left them there for a week or so. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say, I wanted, I, I was scared I was gonna have to make that phone call, but I couldn't believe it. I pulled them out of the, the trunk, and they were completely in tune. So the biggest benefit biggest benefit is that you don't have to worry about it one bit at all, one bit. And so one thing I did want to mention though too that honestly separates these things, I don't know if there's anybody, uh, archery fans out there that shoot archery and things like that, Matt McPherson designed something called a um, harmonic dampener, okay? And what a harmonic dampener does is it takes all the harmon harmonic frequencies out of an object. So in the archery world, you take it all out, it's going to shoot the farthest and the straightest. So what he did with these guitars for the bracing part of it is he reverse engineered that harmonic dampener to have the max amount of harmonic resonance coming out of this instrument on top of the cantilever neck, on top of the offset sound hole. So you get these amazing overtones when you're performing live and you're just, you crank it and it's just, you give it a big strum and you hear it sing. Um, so that, along with the durability of this instrument. Um, and I also left it in my trunk at negative eight um, for, for about three days. So you're doing really good with this temperature yeah, thing. I'm having a blast. I've never able to do that before. Now it's like, great, just leave them there. So yeah, but they're, they're wonderful. And honestly, never out of tune. Um, once you stretch the strings in, they are fantastic. They stay in, never move. And, I, and I've played a lot of different carbon fiber guitars. I know you have. Uh, to me, by far the most wood sounding guitar. I mean, yeah. I, I, we're not trying to discount the value of a wooden guitar. We're just trying to give you that all inclusive kind of feel. And this is by far that, yes. that sound. And honestly, yes, it is. And it's not, it's, it's a different, it's a whole different monster. It's, it's about a great sound. It's about great stability. And like I was saying earlier about the, um, the hand sanded necks and heels and all that, these things have soul. They're made by people, they're made by hand. And when you play them, they just feel, they, they feel like they're, I mean, I have some, uh, some friends in Nashville that play bluegrass and things like that. And one of the reaction I get a lot is we'll be sitting there picking and I'll let my friends play these guitars and they go, they go, man, I'm just the weirdest thing. Look down and not see a wooden instrument in my hands. I just forget, you know, they, they, it just feels real. It feels like it, it's got soul. 
it's got soul, you know? The last feature I want to talk about a little bit just uh, is the design pickup system that is built just for these guitars, which I think is really awesome to yeah. be able to do that. So. Yeah, LR bags. Um, we put the, uh, the the element pickup under it's an under saddle element pickup, and um, it is voiced specifically for this for for these guitars as well as the the touring model as well. So the touring has got the under saddle voiced specifically for that guitar. So the frequencies that it's putting out, pickups designed just for that. So, Excellent. oh, and another point. I shouldn't, we shouldn't forget this because I know that there's guys that love moving, you know, getting different action oh, yeah, and things yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, and not to mention there's a massive truss, copper fiber truss rod in here with a diamond plate ISO grid, so that neck isn't going anywhere. It's super, super strong. But um, the, the guitars come with two saddles, a medium saddle and a low saddle. So if you're a strummer or you're bluegrass and you really like the higher volumes and things like that, then you got the medium saddle. And if you're a shredder and you like to throw down pretty fast, they got the low saddle for that too. So. And these are specifically done for each serial number too. This is not just a, I've got a low saddle and I've got a high saddle. Yeah. These are actually marked on them that they are the actual ones for this guitar. That's right. They are, exactly, and they're, they're made, they're, you know, done by hand, shaved down by hand. Everything is like totally just, it's awesome. I, it was mind blowing seeing these things being made at the factory. It was a really, really cool, really neat experience. Very, very cool. Well, I think these are incredible guitars. You can check them out at the acoustic shop, so come and do that any day.